When African Americans applied for jobs in the nation's defense industry during the Second World War, they were met with discrimination and hostility. After a September 1940 meeting with President Roosevelt, civil rights leaders threatened to march on Washington. In response, Roosevelt issued Executive Order 8802, effectively banning discrimination in all federal agencies. As it was in civilian life in the 40s, segregation was a reality for America's first black Marines because blacks and whites were not allowed to train together. Montfort Point, a camp built exclusively for black recruits, was a stone throw and yet a world away from Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Even as Marines, black men were barred from Lejeune unless accompanied by a white officer. Recruitment of the nation's first black Marines was set to begin June 1, 1942. At one minute after midnight on that date, Alfred Masters, a Langston University student, became the first African American to enlist and be sworn into the United States Marine Corps. On Iwo Jima, they were assigned to service and supply. But when the Japanese attacked, African American Marines dropped their cargo, picked up their weapons, and joined the fight. Despite two amphibious trucks disabled from gunfire, a black Marine driver kept coming back to the cheers of soldiers from their foxholes. A fellow Marine called it one of the bravest sights he had ever seen. And Congresswoman Corrine Brown from Florida sponsored a bill to award the Congressional Gold Medal to the Montford Point Marines. It passed unanimously in the House and Senate. On November 23, 2011, President Barack Obama signed the bill into law. Semper Fi, the men proclaimed as they spoke of their struggles and their gratitude. The highest civilian honor in the land is well deserved for their historic service. August 26 has been designated by Congress as Montford Point Marine Day in honor of that day in 1942 when the first African American Marine recruits reported for basic training. On August 26, 2011, Montford Point Marines were honored in Washington, D.C. by the Marine Corps Commandant with a formal salute at the 8th and I Marine Corps Parade. Gilbert Hashmark Johnson was a veteran of both the Army and the Navy and one of the first African Americans to enlist in the Marine Corps. Johnson was also one of the Marine Corps' first African American drill instructors. In 1974, the Marine Corps renamed the Montford Point Camp as Camp Gilbert Johnson, the only military facility in the country named for an African American. As many modern Marines would attest, they owe a debt of gratitude to the Montford Point Marines. At a time when many expected and even hoped they would fail, the men of Montford Point succeeded. From their segregated beginnings in 1942 to battles with foreign enemies and racism at home, they persevered. Thanks to these men, the door is open and the sky is the limit for the present and future members of the few, the proud, the Marines.